Hey gals and guys, this is War Turtle from Lexi's Help Desk, and today we're going to talk about using the new NPC plugin Chooser to help build the NPC retexture merge. Now, for folks who have gone through this guide before, you probably remember how tedious this section used to be. This plugin really speeds up the process, as you'll see. So, the first thing that we're going to do is right click in the left pane of Mod Organizer 2 and choose Create Empty Mod. And we are going to create a new mod called NPC Appearance Output. Once you've done that, make sure you activate it and then move it into place after No Snow Under the Roof merged. Now, the next thing we're going to do is create a new profile. So you can go up here to the Configure Profiles and this is the name of my profile that I'm using just for this video, you probably see something like this, the Lexi LOTD one. That's your main profile. We're going to copy that profile. You probably also have this blank profile for merges, but you made that profile sometime in the past. Maybe this is the first time that you're going through the guide. Maybe uh, you're updating the guide and are learning how to do this, but the, you don't know for sure that the order of the left pane is in the correct order on that blank profile. Uh, and, and for this step, it, it's kind of critical. So uh, we're going to just copy our main profile to make sure that we're starting from the correct place. So highlight your main profile and choose copy. And then I'm going to name mine NPC Video Merge. Use whatever naming schema that you've been using. Then click close. That'll keep us here on our main profile. That allows us to then go up here to prepare merge. So click that and choose load active profile as base. You can then close this window. Now when you switch over to your profile that you're going to build the merge on, you'll see that everything is active, but you don't want everything active. Right click all mods and choose disable all. Now we're going to have a clean slate to work from. So let's build our merge the same way that we would any other merge. If you go into Prepare Merge and scroll down on the website to the list of plugins that you have, you can use the filter to type in diversity and drag it over into the right pane and do this all manually, or you can do it the fast way. Go to the website, hold down the control button, Click the first plugin, and while holding down the left mouse button, drag all the way to the bottom. Now that you've highlighted them all, press Control C to copy. When you go back to Prepare Merge, click this button, Import Entries from Clipboard, and you can see that it's now pasted all of the plugins you need. So fast. Great. Now choose Prepare Merge in Active Profile. Press yes when prompted, and when you close the window, you'll see that your new merge is here in the correct order. The next thing we're going to do, though, is activate the NPC appearance output and run the NPC plugin chooser. Let's make sure we set it up correctly. In the executable section, on the prerequisite page, you should have added NPC plugin chooser and pointed the binary to wherever it's located on your system. You also installed a settings.json file that you downloaded from Lexi's Nexus, and it has here the path on your system to Mod Organizer 2, and you need to update this to wherever you installed it. Same thing with the output directory for the mod that we just created. Now, it's important that you use double slashes in the file path. If you don't, the plugin won't work. It's a common place people mess up. And if you don't remember where that file is, it's wherever you installed the NPC plugin chooser in the data folder right here. Okay, I'm going to go back to Mod Organizer 2 and I'm going to run the plugin chooser. So I'm going to scroll down in the executable bar and choose Run. Now, this is a step that, if you did it manually, would take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how fast you are, and it's already done. So if, if you open up the mod that you created, you can see that that plugin copied 
all of the assets that you need into this new mod. That's why it always has to be active. So the last thing that we need to do is to delete this NPC appearance .esp plugin that the NPC plugin chooser creates. For the purposes of our guide, we don't use it. If you open the overwrite folder, you can right click and delete it. So that's it. That's how you use this wonderful plugin by Piranha01. Um, and I'm not going to go into the next step of running the Darkface issue reporter. There's already a video on that. But a couple key points when you run it in this step, make sure that you run it on the merge profile because we still haven't actually built the merge. We're going to run the Darkface issue reporter before we do that to try and catch any problems early. So run it on the merge and make sure that this mod, the NPC appearance output, is active. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. Uh, once you have a clean uh, result from the Darkface issue reporter, go ahead and build this merge just like you would any other merge. Uh, if you've got questions, be sure to come over to the Discord, uh, the installation help channel. Uh, we're always happy to help. Best of luck with the rest of your install.